Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you four circular arrows infographic slide in PowerPoint. You can see here I have created a circular arrow with the option number here, the icon and some text which you can modify. So this is the option one like this. I have created option two, three and four and arrow is pointing towards from left to right. And apart from this one, I have created one more slide, which is a vertical slide where you can add like this also. So let's see how to create this four or three option circular infographic slide in PowerPoint. I have added a new slide and changed the background to the gradient fill and go to view. Check the guidelines and I'm going to add two oval shapes to add oval shape, go to insert shapes and under basic shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size and put it exactly in the center shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to give some transparent effect for this so right mouse click go to format shape and transparency you can increase the transparency level maybe 20 21 and make sure this is align center and align middle then select this oval shape press ctrl d to duplicate and bring it down and i'm going to remove this the below part for that select the oval shape first the top oval shape and the bottom oval shape go to format merge shapes and say subtract now i'm going to remove this part from the left side for that go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle covering the half of, of this uh, object and then select this shape and the rectangle merge shape and just say subtract and i'm just going to remove this area also for that again i'm going to insert one more rectangle draw the rectangle I just increase the transparency zoom in and just this much part I'm going to cut it so I'll just select this and this merge shape and subtract so you end up getting this shape I can reduce the size a little bit select this object and just make just drag it down so a little bit the shape has been reduced the size and then i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to put it the other side for that go to format rotate i can simply say flip horizontal and i'm just going to put it here and then i'm just going to remove this much part for that again go to insert shapes and select the rectangle draw the rectangle from the center till this much part I need to remove because I'm going to add the arrowhead there so select this object and the rectangle merge shape and say subtract and then go to insert shapes select and triangle draw the triangle and using the alt and the right arrow key you can just rotate it and put it here shape outline make it no outline select these two objects also transparency level make it zero percent and i'm going to insert shapes and select an oval shape and i'm going to cover this part you can see here now you got this perfect uh, circular arrow shape outline make it no outline or i can just give some gray color or better to give a gradient fill you can give a gradient fill on both the sides i'm going to make it some dark color here and type i will select linear and let me select this one and this also i'm going to make it somewhat darker and you can add more stops here if you want you can give a different colors 
see you got this shape and then just I will increase this little bit and make sure it is perfectly aligned and send this to back all right now to add the text for that I'm going to select this object press ctrl D to duplicate it and change the color to somewhat light gray reduce the size and put it here you can see here and if you want to give some shadow effect you can go to effects shadow and you can select maybe this one and here also you can do the same thing press ctrl D of this give the same color reduce the size and give the same shadow effect you can give the other side and then you can add your text on this before adding the text let me select this all the objects or you can use press ctrl a to select all and press ctrl g to group it and then you can reduce the size and put it here and I'm just going to ungroup this and go to insert shapes select one rectangle shape draw the rectangle shape from the top to bottom shape outline make it no outline or you can give a white outline also doesn't matter and give this as a gradient fill and for this I'm going to select linear and select any of this and give some dark shading options you can see here I'm just adding a little bit of a kind of a pillar and then send this to back you can see here and I'm just going to select this I can bring it down at the bottom and then let me just add the text go to insert text I will just say this is maybe a uh, zero one and put it here shape text color I'll make it white if you want you can increase the size also or if you want to change the color you can just change this color also here but let me just add the text here now you can add some text here add your text here let me just reduce the size and you can add it and a little bit you can bend your text also and if you have the icon you can just insert the icon here and I'm just going to change this color I'll just say gradient fill not this color I will select one is with maybe a white here and here I will select maybe some different color maybe this purple and linear you can use like this and here also I'm going to do the same thing press function key f4 so it will repeat and this one I'll make it a light color again like this and this one I will change the color to purple and if you want to give some shadow effect for this also you can give some shadow effect now once you have finalized this let me just group select this press ctrl D to duplicate 
and move it up this is one more again control D this is one more because I can increase the size till the and just select this and just say send to back So just let me just bring it down and control D I can add one more here and select this send to back. Now I can select all of this except this and just bring it down. Sorry, I have to select this also and let me just bring it down here and then eventually you can change each of these colors and one more thing you can do uh, you can keep this color as uh, white and light gray for example select this let me just make it somewhat gray color to this and this one will be a white only and inside color you can change to any color you want let me just select a gradient fill and I'm going to select say uh, this color somewhat darker and this side I'm going to select somewhat lighter color so you got this one and here also I can just simply say F4 key and then text color also I can just change it to this color and this also I'm not going to I'm going to just remove this See, this is it looks something like this here so you can just apply for the rest of this also and if you feel that okay this if you want to do instead of vertical horizontal then you can simply right mouse click just say duplicate slide and I'm going to select all by pressing ctrl a and ctrl G to group it and then using this arrow you can just rotate it here like this and ungroup it increase the size and then you can increase the numbers here also and just change the text direction like this so you can add as many as you want depending on your requirement That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.